All right, let's get started. For this tutorial, you'll need to open up uh, your Firefox browser. Once open, go ahead and go to Tools. Click there and down to Fire FTP. You should have a window that looks similar to this. Click the button that says Manage Accounts and then New. We're going to name this site Thinking Forward. I like to keep the names in sync with the website server that I'm connecting to. The host is the actual location, which is ftp.thinking hyphen forward.com login is Miramont which is M as in Mary I R A M O N T and the password again is capital F as in Frank lowercase U N the numeral two lowercase D A Y fun today. With those settings in place go ahead and click the connection button. We have one more setting to place. Click in the remote field at the bottom and type a slash and then the word Miramont. Followed by a second slash and the word APU and the numeral is 517. Okay, the settings are complete. Click the OK button. Now the moment of truth. Click on the connect button. Hopefully the screen on the right side of your display looks something like this, where you see the Miramont folder and then the folder beneath it, APU 517. If for some reason you do not connect to the server, go ahead and recheck your settings that we just inputted. Often a single character can uh, make the difference between connecting and not connecting, so don't despair. Just recheck those settings and you should be able to connect. Alright, moving back over to the left hand side of the screen. You can see from my list, I'm actually working on a Windows machine today, that the C folder, which is my hard drive, is open displaying all of my folders. I've selected a folder labeled APU517. My suggestion to you is to create a folder on your computer's hard drive, whether it's your Mac hard drive or your Windows PC hard drive, the C drive, and name that folder APU517. That way both the folder on your local hard drive and the folder on the website server have the exact same name. Take a moment to go back out to your hard drive and create a folder. After you've created that folder on your hard drive, hit the blue icon at the top which refreshes the directory. Refreshing the directory allows the computer and Fire FTP to find the folder you just created. I'm going to click that button. There's my folder. I'm going to select that folder. And inside that folder you'll see there are a listing of all the files. I uh, conveniently dropped my week one assignment into that folder so that I can transfer it now to the website server. Take a moment to put your week one assignment in that folder. After you've done so, simply click on it to select it and then travel over to the green arrow, the one that's pointing to the right. It says upload. Clicking this button will send your file up to the website server. So go ahead and click that button. Now looking at the right hand side of my screen, you can see that my assignment has been successfully uploaded. This is where your assignment should appear in order to complete your assignment for this week's module. I'm anticipating that you're going to have great luck connecting to the website server. Of course if you don't, please don't take too much time getting frustrated. Give me a call, send me an email, and I'll be happy to help.